As we've been reading through the book of Proverbs, it's clear that this, this is a book of wisdom. Now, maybe you'll remember that simple definition of wisdom that we considered earlier in our reading of this book. It's from Pastor Chuck Smith, the, the founder of the Calvary Chapel movement of churches. Well, here's his definition. Wisdom, it's simply knowing what to do with what you know. Well, in chapter eight, wisdom is not only the focus and the theme of the chapter, but it's personified. Wisdom is seen in this chapter as a divine companion, ever present and accessible to anyone, anyone who will seek wisdom genuinely. See, this chapter is a call to seek understanding, align our lives with God's will and his ways, and ultimately to make choices that reflect the character of our creator. Wisdom's value far outweighs and outdoes the value of most anything else in life. Listen to verses 10 and 11. The author says this, Receive my instruction, and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things one may desire cannot be compared with her. You know, I appreciate that in his commentary on this chapter, Warren Wiersbe notes that some, if not most of the Israelites in the Old Testament era, ha had the idea that wealth, well, it was like a sign of God's blessing while poverty and trouble, well, those were evidences that you were out of favor with God. But as this chapter shows clearly that the thing of greatest value in life, it's like Pastor Chuck would say, it, it's just knowing what to do with what you know, to walk in wisdom. So here's my encouragement for you today. Surround yourself with wise people and wisdom. Enjoy reading through this chapter, but most importantly, apply the wisdom of these words to your life. For the value is far greater than any form of riches this world has to offer.